Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you. It's Monday. It's December 26th. It's the championship meet. We've waited months for it. It's finally upon us. Ten races, including the Tropical Park Oaks and the Derby for three-year-olds and three-year-old fillies. We'll turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello for the course and the weather conditions. It's a rainy, cloudy afternoon. The temperature is in the mid-50s. The main track is good. We are off the turf today in the first race on the Tapita track. Scratch number two, Idle Chatter. Number three, Sun B, make the jockey Edgar Prado. Scratch nine, Poshley. And scratch 13, Soviet Excess. R Racing at Goldstream. Good start for Sun B from Between Horses, who reaches out for the early lead with Mademoiselle Jackie on the go early. On the far outside, just north, away in the top flight, splitting horses and into the top flight is metaphysical into the run to the first turn. Back from there, Penumbra's maker moves to the two path and Zipadu is three wide, four wide for Tiger Tap. Then Evie does it. Our Rosé all day is second last. And the early trailer here is uh, at the back of the field, Claudette's Lady. They make their way to the back stretch run, and the leader is Mademoiselle Jackie on top by a length. Racing second is Metaphysical, and down at the rail, that's Sun B. A joint third, just north is in the blue cap on the far outside. Penumbra's maker is next, followed outside by Tiger Tap, then Zipadu. Our Rosé all day is headstrong while racing between horses up on the outside, and an early move here coming from uh, Evie Does It, who's looking for some place to race, and up the back of the field is still Claudette's Lady. They make their way half a mile from the finish. The leader is Mademoiselle Jackie in front by almost a length. Metaphysical is the nearest pursuer second at the rail, Sun B third. Penumbra's maker has horse, but no place to prove it for Reyes with just north out three wide. Then back to Tiger Tap and Zipadu with our Rosé all day. Claudette's lady is launching a bit while wide on the course as they run to the top of the stretch. Mademoiselle Jackie taken on again by Metaphysical who's right alongside. Penumbra's maker getting ready to tip and roll third, then Tiger Tap and Sun B. And they're at the top of the stretch. On the outside, Metaphysical still charging for Prado with the advantage, Mademoiselle Jackie down inside and over the top, Penumbra's maker, Tiger Tap is fourth. Less than a sixteenth to go. Metaphysical for a narrow lead. Metaphysical is in front. Metaphysical and Edgar Prado get the job done. Close then for second, either Mademoiselle Jackie or Penumbra's maker. Tiger Tap is fourth in the Gulfstream opener. beginning. Soon after the start, it was Commanding General who looks for the early lead. At the inside, Ben Copenhagen wants to run with him. Royal Squeeze will back off and look to angle to the clear. Del Griffith is on the outside, and the trailer is Valid Exchange. They run to the half-mile point. Commanding General and Junior Alvarado intent on getting the lead, and they have a lead by a neck. From between horses, that's Royal Squeeze second, Del Griffith, and three wide for David Baracco third. At the rail fourth and Ben Copenhagen, and Valid Exchange is last. Around the far turn at the three furlong point. Commanding General on the outside and Royal Squeeze. Three wide and Del Griffith. Fourth at the fence and Ben Copenhagen. And Valid Exchange is last. They run past the five sixteenths. The two favorites are first and second. Commanding General and Royal Squeeze. They continue to spar. Ben Copenhagen is at the inside looking to get off the inside. Is he from fourth and Del Griffith and Valid Exchange. And they're at the top of the stretch. Commanding General still in front. On the outside, Royal Squeeze tries again. From the center of the track, it's Ben Copenhagen with an eighth of a mile to go. Ben Copenhagen starts to finish up. He's down the center trying to get Commanding General with a sixteenth to go. Commanding General and on the outside, Ben Copenhagen. Copenhagen, Ben Copenhagen surges. Ben Copenhagen in front. Commanding General second, Royal Squeeze third, then Valid Exchange and Del Griffin.
Four beginning for no decaf, three or four lengths slow. Quick beginning for Roses for Ashley, who heads off for the yearly lead. Up on the outside, Awesome Appeal has speed. From third, it's hot line to heaven. After a subpar beginning, it's No Decaf, who improves out the rail. Irad had to ride away Starship Nugget out of the gate. She's mid-flight. In fact, she's toward the back of the group, passed outside by both Mudshaft and uh, Look Up to Heaven as they swing to the far turn, half a mile away. Now it's hot line to heaven, who takes the lead. From the outside and Roses for Ashley, second. Awesome appeal, three wide third. No decaf runs on to take fourth. Mudshaft is fifth. Up to six, Ghost Starship Nugget passing look up to heaven, and the trailer is dignified. At the 516, still plenty of chances here. With the advantage, it's Roses for Ashley. Awesome appeal, three wide. Starting to get serious. Starship Nugget, she has the four paths secured. and Five wide for Mudshaft. No decaf going to try to get lucky toward the rail. 47-2 and two for a half mile. Out in the center, here's Starship Nugget. Set down, driving, trying to get Awesome Appeal, who's still the target. Eighth of a mile to go. Awesome Appeal's got a kick. Starship Nugget rallied into second. She'll try to hold that spot from Dignified, who's rolling home. Dignified has a chance for third. Awesome Appeal is in front. Awesome Appeal beats Starship Nugget by two and a half. No decaf out. Rand Dignified for third. Much after to complete your high five in 112 and four. Start out wide for She's So Pretty. Serenade a Kitten's going to run with him. Her way in third is Rosie Holiday. Then it's Zodiac Princess and Divine Exchange. The early trailer, Lovin' Livin'. In the charge around the first turn, the advantage to Serenade a Kitten and Jorge Ruiz. They lead narrowly. She's So Pretty is their second. Rosie Holiday is a headstrong third. Up to fourth while tugging is Zodiac Princess. Lovin' Livin' is now second last. Now the trailer is Divine Exchange. They make their way through the opening quarter with Serenade a Kitten putting up the numbers. The opening quarter quite slow, 25 and 4. Serenade a Kitten by a length. She's so pretty, latched on to her second in a flanking position with Zodiac Princess up to third. Rosie Holiday is fourth ahead of Love and Livin', and Divine Exchange is last. Less than five eighths from the finish, they're paired off two by two by two as they run to the half mile point. With the advantage, Serenade, a kitten in front narrowly. She's so pretty up alongside the leader in second from third, Zodiac Princess. Fourth at the rail, Rosie Holiday. Divine Exchange is fifth under a loose rein while three wide, and the trailer is Love and Livin'. Around the far turn they go. The pace picks up. It's She's So Pretty taken on now by Serenade a Kitten. Three wide. Divine Exchange is now up into a joint third alongside Rosie Holiday with Zodiac Princess. Out the back, Love and Livin'. And up front, it's She's So Pretty. To the top of the stretch, She's So Pretty leads narrowly. From between horses, Rosie Holiday working home for a run. Divine Exchange hung out very deep as they straighten for the drive. She's So Pretty with Serenade a Kitten back for more inside. These two have been dominant throughout. They continue to kick on. She's so pretty. Now rallies forward to a clear lead. Back to second is Serenade a Kitten, but she's so pretty too good. She's so pretty. Even money. And in front, Serenade a Kitten second. Rosie Holiday third. Divine Exchange is fourth in 141 and four. They're off in the Tropical Park Oaks. Good start for Ganesh and Omi Sochi. They're the first two to begin with my Philly twirl away in the top flight. Four wide to the turn will be personal best. These top four have gone four ahead of Surprisingly, who's now racing in fifth. On heels a bit is Jumaira while second last. On her outside, Candy Light, the trailer Spirit and Glory, the leader, Omi Sochi. Omi Sochi around the first turn with a half-length edge over Ganesh in second. My Philly Twirl is three wide third. After a bit of a wide run early, the race favorite personal best has been dropped over to the inside to race on from fourth, and she's out of hold. Back from there, it's surprisingly, and on her outside goes Spirit and Glory. Out the back are Candy Light and Jumaira. Field separated by five and a half lengths in the run, four and a half furlongs from the finish. 
Omi Sochi leads and leads by half a length. Ganesh keeps her honest on the outside. Second, these two, two better than my Philly twirl. Personal best is fourth and still waiting her turn. Surprisingly is next. Spirit and Glory's on the outside, then Candy Light and Jumaira's last. They leave the backstretch and move on to the floor turn. Three and a half furlongs to run in the Tropical Park Oaks. And here comes the run from the favorite personal best. She's angled to the clear. Three wide and on the attack. With the advantage now, it's Ganesh ahead in front. Omi Sochi battles on. Personal best is three wide and still confidently handled. Then it's back to surprise. Uh, surprisingly, underway is Candy Twirl, then trying to rally Spirit and Glory. They fan across the course. And here comes a run from Candy Light. Candy Light challenging for the lead with personal best alongside. Surprisingly, on their outside. Eighth of a mile to go. Candy Light rallies forward to take the lead. Personal best can't stay with her. Candy Light, three to one, and the winner of the Tropical Park Oaks. Surprisingly second. Third was personal best. Fourth was Spirit and Glory. Then Ganesh in 140 and one. Goa Barrio was away quickly, moving between horses. Here's Capture the Lion, and up on the outside, Power Humor, driving through with the rail, long shot, Uncaptured Star to mix it up. Uncaptured Star and Loco Barrio 1-2. Capture the Lion is on the outside of them, while third from fourth running Power Humor. Improving at the inside is the Kozan one. He's about four and a half lengths off the speed. Mr. Rhodium leads a trio behind them, including Kozaris and Organist, and it's a gap of two to the trailer. That's long shot, Don't Kiss, Deminister. Around the far turn they go. Loco Abario has the lead. Moving up on his outside, Capture the Lion is now last to quicken and up into second. Dropping back his uncaptured star into third from fourth running Power Humor. Kozaris is underway, but giving up a ton of ground while wide on the course. Three back to the Kozan, one with a quarter of a mile left to go. Loco Abario confidently handled off the corner and still a clear linger of two lengths of hand. Over a second running Power Scop on the outside, Power Humor. Widest of all, Kozaris from between horses and Capture the Lion, but Loco Abario is just toying with them here. Loco Abario pulling clear when you're ready, and he's ready now for a winner's circle picture. It's Loco Abario in front. Cozaris with a wide rally to get second. Power Humor's third. Battling back was uncaptured star to complete your super ahead of Capture the Lion in 111. And one. Ridden hard from the center, Demogorgon begins for the early lead. From the outside, lay the groundwork. From the inside, Judge Judith east the top three. Built difference in a bit tight. Up on the far outside, it's Charmed Way. Second last is Sal's Dream Girl. The early trailer is Economic Hangover. 
In the run around the first turn, Demogorgon and Edgar Zayas clear a length and a half. Judge Judith is there second toward the outside. Charmed Way is with her with Lay the Groundwork up to fourth. On hold while fifth is built different ahead of Sal's Dream Girl. The trailer is Economic Hangover. They make their way by a quarter in 23 and four. The leader Demogorgon by a length. Charmed Way second. Judge Judith remains third. Lay the Groundwork is there fourth. A length and a half to Built Different who's now fifth from Sal's Dream Girl. Unhurried at this stage is race favorite Economic Hangover. Last of the seven, the pace is honest as they run four and a half furlongs from the finish. Demogorgon went 47 and two to a half mile and leads by a length and a half. Charmed Way is second. Judge Judith is now third. Lay the groundwork up to fourth. At the rail, it's built different together with Sal's Dream Girl. Still at the back and now asked to quicken Economic Hangover. Around the far turn at the 5 16th, Charmed Way, three wide, and on the attack with Demogorgon still the leader. Lay the groundwork, given the green light by Irad Ortiz Jr. in the clear on the outside third. Running home at the back is Sal's Dream Girl, economic hangover, just making hard work of it, but still very much part of this. Plenty of chances here as they straighten for the drive. Out the center, lay the groundwork, surging forward for a narrow lead. Sal's Dream Girl takes a shot at her from the outside toward the inside in Charmed Way, then economic hangover. Final 16th of a mile, lay the groundwork. Sal's Dream Girl second, lay the groundwork almost home. Lay the groundwork wins by almost a length. Sal's Dream Girl second, third was economic hangover, then charmed way. They're off in the 46th Tropical Park Derby. The race favorite, Steady On, wins the break and goes looking for the early lead. Axelm's going to run with him early. Churchtown comes away in the top flight while looking to angle over. Night Jumper is between horses, and Native Thunder is very wide on the turn. Off the inside and Red Danger. Grand Sonata's in tight in the two path. Dakota Gold is three wide, four wide and stolen base. Five wide for Grand David. Down at the inside goes Golden Glider. He's in the pink and black, but he's only about five lengths off the speed. And he's three lengths better than the trailer, Fort Washington, as they complete a quarter in 23 and four. Less than six furlongs to go. Steady on leads. He's got them stacked and packed behind him. In the two path, it's Night Jumper second, three wide Churchtown third. Axelm's in the red colors, fourth at the fence. Native Thunder's on the far outside. Dakota Gold is racing together with Grand Sonata. Grand David, meanwhile, is very wide on the course. Splitting horses in stolen base. He's only four and a half off the speed. Then Golden Glider dropping back a bit is Red Danger. And Fort Washington trying to close in while last of all, they went 47 and two for a half mile. Night Jumper at a big price, giving Steady on all he wants early. Dakota Gold is looking for room behind the speed with Churchtown three wide. Axthelm is at the rail, then Golden Glider. Castellano's got horse on Grand Sonata, but he's got no place to go yet. Wide is Grand David. Fort Washington is underway with Red Danger as they turn for home. Three quarters, 111 flat. They're at the top of the stretch, and they fan across the course. Axthelm at the rail. Down the center, Golden Glider at a big price. Dakota Gold is punching forward. Churchtown, Grand Sonata never got through. Fort Washington from last. Here comes Fort Washington charging hard. Golden Glider and Steady On. Here's the line. Steady On and Golden Glider. Steady On and Golden Glider in a win photo in the Tropical Park Derby in 140 and 2. We're ready for the start. They're off.
for one. break from Ninja Abario. On the far outside, Awesome Indra was away alertly, and she'll get a clear lead from Peachy Weechy, who comes away in second. Keiko is picking in hand. She'll land third. Penn Street's in early fourth, and after a subpar start, Ninja Abario last of all. They chase Jose Ortiz and Awesome Indra. Awesome Indra to the half-mile point, leads by two and a half. Peachy Weechy is second. Keiko is third. Penn Street is asked to keep up while racing in fourth, and Ninja Abario is last. The opening quarter, not quick at all. 23 seconds flat. Awesome Indra, clear by two with half a mile to the finish. Peachy Weechy and Keiko, second and third, three ahead of Penn Street, fourth, and Ninja Barrio is last. Around the far turn they go. Awesome Indra has the lead by two and a half at the 5 16 Morelos riding for three on the card. He's asking Peachy Weechy to kick on with it. Keiko driven third. Penn Street is now fourth, and Ninja Barrio is last. It's a strung out group through a 46 second half mile. Awesome Indra is a quarter of a mile from home and two on top. Peachy Weechy is second. Keiko is third. Penn Street is fourth, and they're at the top of the stretch. Jose Ortiz shakes the reins at Awesome Indra, tries to get another gear. Peachy Weechy takes her shot. Eighth of a mile to go. Awesome Indra in front. Peachy Weechy's gaining on her. Peachy Weechy out in the center, surging forward at Awesome Indra, who tries to turn her away. Awesome Indra still in front. Peachy Weechy lunges. Peachy Weechy's in time. Peachy Weechy ran down Awesome Indra with Penn Street third, then Ninja El Barrio in 124 and two. Exchange away quickly, so was Bad Bad Bobby down toward the inside. Mr. JT's on the go. Into the top flight goes Eden Paradise, and Danley won't be far away in the charge around the first turn. Back from behind the speed is Sir Samuel with Quantum Theory toward the rail. Then it's Back Chat. He's mid flight. He's about six lengths off the speed. El Segundo's on his outside. The early trailer is board certified. The early leader is a long shot in Mr. JT, who's clear by a length and a half over Federal Exchange in second. Bad Bad Bobby is together with a wide-running Eden Paradise third and fourth. Then it's Danley, white blinkers for Sir Samuel under Leon El Reyes. Then Quantum Theory, board certified, gets started five wide. Back to the inside and back chat and a long way behind is 12 o'clock. They make their way to the half-mile point. The quarter speed was pretty legit, 23 and three. The half-mile was 47 and three. So they're moving right along here. And the leader is Mr. JT by a half a length. From second, it's Federal Exchange. Eden Paradise is third. Bad Bad Bobby committed to an inside run while fourth Reyes is following him with Sir Samuel. Board certified gets started. Back chat's in the clear. Here comes Back Chat Blue Blinkers on the far outside. They run to the top of the stretch at the quarter mile mark. Eden Paradise takes the lead. Back Chat far outside. Bad Bad Bobby held up in traffic. Trying to work for a run as Sir Samuel and they're at the top of the stretch. Here's Back Chat on now to take the lead. Back Chat moves by a length and a half in front. From between horses, birds, uh, bird board certified. Ducking between horses is Sir Samuel at the rail. Bad, bad Bobby. Back chat's almost home. It's back chat in front. Bad, bad Bobby second. Sir Samuel third. Fourth is El Segundo. Then board certified. 139 and one. That's a wrap on the 10 race opening day of the championship meet card. Now, don't forget this new schedule. Now we're going to be off Tuesday. Tomorrow we come back for the traditional five day race week. We've got eight on tap for you Wednesday in a 12-10. Race.